video, I'm going to show you how to trade Evmos with Osmo, withdraw it from Osmosis, and how to stake it. Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. The world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers, Descent. Hi everybody, this is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I am recording this while I'm on holiday visiting family in Pakistan. I've had to turn the fan off, and it's really, really hot here, like 43 degrees C. And I've turned the fan off because of the noise in the background, but also the room that I'm in doesn't have great acoustics. So apologies for that. And also I don't have any camera because the lighting isn't great here either so let me see if i can show you how to do this real quickly which is how to trade osmosis osmo into evmos withdraw it from osmosis.zone and then stake it and i'm doing this in response to a request of a friend of mine but i think this could be useful anyway because there are some incredibly exciting things that are happening with osmo some ridiculously exciting things that are happening with osmo and i think evmos is going to be really big as well but it's important you do your own do diligence and check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Now, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT, join my official Telegram announcements channel. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please come over and support my work on Odyssey. There's no censorship on Odyssey. I promote stuff. I publish stuff on Odyssey that I didn't publish on YouTube, and I have extra material on Odyssey. Okay, so this is the website, osmosis.zone. Now, before I went into it, I wanted, I made sure that my VPN, my NordVPN is on. NordVPN has a special feature which stops you from going to a phishing scamming website. I also want to check that the connection is secure and that the certificate is valid because they don't want to end up to some scamming website and then I can connect my Kepler wallet to it and then all my crypto gets stolen because I'm using a dodgy website. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this on Tuesday, the 28th of June. I'm not sure when I'm going to put it out, but the prices may have changed by the time this video goes out. So I launched the app to go into the decks, and I just got to say that this is such a beautiful, beautiful, sweet-looking decks. Now, you'll see here, Luna, and Lun Luna Classic and UST Classic have moved to Osmosis Frontier. What this has, where I've gone to is osmosis.zone. This is a hybrid dex. It's not fully decentralized because what the team do is they manage what sort of cryptocurrencies get listed on this DEX. You don't want any scammy, dodgy cryptocurrencies on this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my wallet, Kepler Wallet Connect, I'm approving the connection, and it's now connected. I have, the price of Osmo is 82 cents. If I go to the assets page, I can see here, I've already got 10 Osmo in this wallet. I've got a little teeny weeny bit of Evmos from a previous transaction. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trade the Osmo for Evmos. So just click there to switch. I want Osmo at the top, I want Evmos at the bottom. I'm gonna do the whole lot because I wanna live dangerously. Swap, and part of it, I mean, I'm kidding about living dangerously. I'm gonna approve the transaction, but Evmos is offering really high staking rewards, upwards of 600, 650% right now. Now they will go down slowly over time, but I wanna capitalize on those gains. So the transaction has been approved. If I then go to the assets page, and there is the Evmos, it's already turned up. Now what I gotta do is I gotta take it from the Osmosis smart contract of the DEX and move it into my Kepler wallet. Now, what, everything that I'm showing you here works not just for Osmo, but for any of these other assets that are listed on osmosis.zone. It's the, the procedure is the same, okay? So now I go to Evmos, I click on withdraw, and it takes me to another window. Now the thing about Evmos is that it runs on the Ethereum blockchain and also on the Cosmos blockchain, IBC inter I interconnected blockchain protocol thing, right? And that's the magic and whiz of IBC. All the Cosmos assets run on IBC. There's separate blockchains that can talk to each other. And Evmos is able to straddle both. That's a very simple explanation. Now, I'm withdrawing it not from Esmo, Evmos. I'm actually withdrawing it from Osmosis. And there's the address that I'm um, of my Osmo that I'm withdrawing it from. I can either withdraw it to my MetaMask wallet, and then it can interact with ERC20 tokens and ETH, or I can withdraw it to my Kepler wallet, where, it can inter where I can stake it. Now I'm gonna withdraw it to my Kepler wallet, and I know it's my Kepler wallet because the address begins Evmos. If I click on there and say MetaMask, then 
when MetaMask wallet is going to open up and I've got to connect it first, but I'm not going to do that. So let me just cancel that. Error, let's go to the get address and it's already connected to my MetaMask, uh, to my Kepler wallet. And you can see here the available transfer is 4.06 EVMOS. I'm going to click on max, transfer coins from Osmosis, click on that. I can choose low, which is, it takes a little bit longer, but there's no transaction fee. And given I've swapped all my Osmo, because of the fees I paid in Osmo because I'm on the Osmosis smart contract, I click on that and it'll take a few minutes. Sometimes it can take as long as 15 minutes. Now let's have a look at my Kepler wallet. Click on that, it opens up. These are the other assets that are available within the Kepler wallet. Uh, these ones here, beta support, they don't have full functionality. But I'm just looking at Evmos. And here's the um, Evmos that's available, 4.098062. That includes the little bit of Evmos I had from before because you always need to have a little bit in order to pay for the transaction fees. Now there's 1.247 that I can claim and I'm going to show you a particular way of claiming that I only learned the other day. So I'm going to click on stake, it takes me to this page. And if I go to dashboard, let me just make this a little bit larger, you can see here the total balance that I've got in this Kepler wallet is worth $295. This is just the wallet I use for demonstration purposes, by the way. And I can claim up to 80 cents of rewards, and then it will tell me which ones. Uh, so uh, where I can claim, let's scroll down here. So I can claim 0.0128 Atom, 0 Osmo, because I've already, well, the rewards come out later, 0 0.15259 Secret, 0 0.15629 Juno. I'm not going to claim any of those because the amount or stars, because the amounts are so small, that it'll all get eaten up by transaction fees. So I wait for those to build up, and then what I can do is I can click on claim. Now, what I want to do is to claim it, is I click on there, and this window opens up, which if I wanted to, like if I had more in each of these, I could claim them all very, very quickly. Oh, there's 2.04, let me claim stars, right? Uh, but I can claim it there, select no fee, and why I'm not gonna claim and restake it is I'm gonna collect all these little rewards and add to my Evmos file here. Now I can claim and restake here, and the beauty of this is that it only requires one transaction and one transaction fee. It is spinning, transaction is being validated by the validators and it'll go through, done. So that has now disappeared, so has stars because there's nothing there to claim. Let's have a look at the Kepler wallet. You can see I now have 76.24703 EVMOS and I am now going to show you how to stake the remaining EVMOS. So I can either do it from the dashboard Let's just get rid of that and scroll down here and find Evmos. There it is. Click on that. Click on stake. And it takes me to my validator. Right? Or the other way I can do it is from the Kepler wallet, click on stake, and it takes me to the same page. Now I click on manage. This is what I've already got delegated. Click on delegate. And how much am I going to stake? Well, I'm going to stake this amount because I want to bring it up to 80 because I like round numbers. Click on delegate. It also means I've got plenty left to pay for the transaction fees. The transaction fees are very, very low. Look at that, 0.00625 EVMOS. And the advantage of EVMOS is I can interact with ERC20 tokens and pay really, really low fees, not the stupidly high fees that are paid with ERC20 tokens. And then also DYDX, which is the big, the biggest DEX on the Ethereum blockchain, is moving over to, the, to IBC, to the Cosmos ecosystem, which will mean that be able to transact with all the ERC20 tokens pretty much for teeny weeny weeny fees, for Cosmos fees versus Ethereum fees. So approve the transaction, that's now going through. Hey, oh dear, well my calculation was wrong. I'm a little bit over 80. Oh dear, let's go, how am I gonna sleep at night? Go have a look at the wallet. Here we go, 80 EVMOS, 0.33 EVMOS available for fees, which is way more than you need. And that is how to stake, and also how to claim, how to trade, how to withdraw. If you have any comments or quests, actually, let me just show you very quickly. If I wanted to, this 0.33 Evmos, if I wanted to trade with that, what I would do, go back to, this is Osmosis Frontier. Let me go to regular Osmosis. Now, this page needs to be refreshed because I don't have 4.05 in there. Where is Evmos? Let's do a search here. Put it in search assets. Type it in. Oh, there it is. It showed up. But if I can't see it, I type it in there and it would show up anyway. I want to now deposit from the Kepler wallet to the Osmosis blockchain smart contract. Now I'm going from Kepler, so I went from, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going from Evmos to Osmosis. So it's gonna go from this Evmos address, because Evmos has dual addresses, Evmos and Ethereum addresses. Uh, I want to, let's just deposit 0.32. That should be enough in there for fees. Click on transfer. Click on low, because I'm not in any rush. Low fees transactions just take a little bit longer and they are much, much cheaper.
Let's have a look here. Refresh the page. And there it is. There's my Edmos 0.320099. If I want to hide zero balances, I can see it because that's the only one that's got any money in it. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. If there's any other how-to videos you would like on the Osmosis system, let me know in the comments below. Give me the ticker symbol for your favorite Cosmos asset. Please do follow me on Twitter, CryptoRitzYT, join my official Telegram announcement channel. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is CryptoRitz signing out. All the best. Bye-bye.